All right, this is the motor drive I built in the last uh, movie. And uh, this movie, what we want to do is uh, put a limit switch on it to shut it off. So it'll be shut off electrically. And uh, so let's uh, move over so you can get a better look at where I'm going to put the limit switch. All right, so here's the limit switch I've got. What we want to do is put it here so that when the carriage bumps into it, it shuts it off. And that way we can drive the cutter into the piece until uh, and b create a shoulder. We'll see how it works. Uh, I was going to build something for this, but I've already got this, car this holder over here. And uh, this holder is held on with uh, some 1032 cap screws. And... It uses a dial indicator, or you can put this in here, and now you have a stop coming out the end here. Hold on. There we go. And you can use it as a stop. So now that I've already got this, Figure why not use it. So I'll take this uh, quarter 20 bolt out of it. Just, there we go. And you'll see that's how it's built. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty sure uh, Mr. Pete has shown uh, this a couple times. And it's got two sets of bolts on it. But the best part of this is is that I can turn it around and put it around upside put it on upside down and tighten it up yeah that's not going anywhere and that way I can put my the holder for the uh, set screw in there like that so we'll I'll use a piece of aluminum and make a, make a casing for this and uh, we'll uh, play around with it and see how it works Okay, I finished making the bo uh, the piece that we're going to put the, uh, there we go. So we're going to fit the uh, um, limit switch in there like that. So let's, let's get this, let's 
describe it across there. Alright, so now we're going to lay it on there like that. And we want to bring this out to the end like that. Yeah, that should do it. And I've got a transfer punch here. So we'll move it over to the anvil. Get a hammer. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is these 1032 screws are just a little bit bigger than that hole so we'll make a holder for these and we'll tap tap through for the top one here so that, and then thin it out for the rest so that it goes right through here and holds this in position Okay, this is how this is as far as I got. I tapered out the sins so I could fit the limit switch in there. Limit switch is nice and tight, doesn't move around. Cleaned off the back a little bit here. Pressed in the dowel. So it just kind of slipped right in here. Like that. And you tighten the edge here. And it shuts it off. So now what I need now is a cover to cover this. Yeah. And I'm going to use this piece of aluminum and I'm just going to make an L bracket with a hole in it. Uh, I figure, oh, let's take a look. Yeah, 916 hole in there. That should do, a 916 hole should work. Alright, so let me go cut out some aluminum. Okay, I finished off the box. This is what it looks like. Not much to it, really. There's the pin and there's the uh, switch. So, just put it in here. And tighten this up. And then we'll turn on the uh, power. So now I got my lead screw moving, turn on the power on the lathe, and engage, uh, crank it in a little bit, okay. turn on my half nut, and stop, back it up, 
crank in five more. Engage the half nut. Seems to be working pretty good. Running right up to the edge, shutting down. As soon as I back it away, the lead screw starts moving again. problem with that. Okay, this is being run by the power drive. And it's being shut off electrically at the end of the run with a limit switch. 